Hey guys, um, so I'm going to upload a video of the progression of my birthmark removals. Uh, I started in April of last year, and um, I think I skipped a month because I was traveling and I just didn't want those big bruises on me, um, but I might have just pushed it back in the month, so I still had it done once a month since April, um, so that's around 10 or 11 sessions so far. Um, I haven't taken a photo yet of it. I I kind of want the bruising to go away a little bit before I take another progress photo. Um, right now it's just a little tiny bit bruised. Um, I have makeup on it so you you can kind of see where it's a little darker down here. As the sessions go on, um, they kind of raise the, the level of how, um, how intense the shock is when they put it on you. Because uh, when I first went, um, they shocked me and you'll see from the photos how like dark it was like the bruising was dark um, the bruising isn't as intense anymore so they they have to just kind of up the the level of intenseness so that it can penetrate through the skin and kind of get to the further levels of the birthmark um, some photos are pretty rough um, the when I would do a flash I kind of felt like I didn't really like it kind of lightened the birthmark more than what it looked like, um, so I tried to, I tried to have natural light and just kind of show you what it looked like. Cause, I mean, when I started, it was as red as my lips. So, and I have a, I feel like I have a good photo of that. Um, it's a little frustrating because you think that you're doing really well and you think that it's lightened so much, but then I'll run up a flight of stairs and it'll be. D darker than it was when I last saw it so it's it's frustrating but um I do notice a difference I am using less makeup to cover it less time in the morning getting ready for it um when it's bruised I still put makeup on it I've been told like mineral makeup is the best but I've literally used everything and it's been fine I just keep it moisturized um and I'm mostly showing you <clears throat> the birthmark on my forehead. The one on my collarbone was pretty small to begin with. Maybe later on I'll uh, I can show you the progress of that because I did take a photo of it before we started. Um, I'm open to all questions. Um, anything you want to know I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Um, and I don't know if I said this in the video before but um, for people commenting and saying that they have like a whole arm or just like a larger birthmark. Um, mine, which is just here, that's about 28, well 23 to 28 zaps. And the one on my collarbone was like 3 because it's like literally this big. Um, I, I have talked to a girl briefly on Instagram that just commented and because I put up a photo there just kind of showing the bruising and she was she said that she had like her whole arm so she had to get her whole arm done so people are doing it and the girl that like the assistant that does it for me she'll tell me about some other people that are in there for a while because they have larger birthmarks so it's just like a big bird and you just have to keep it moisturized so I think it's doable you can cover it up it's not really the first couple days it's a little like it feels irritated from clothing and whatnot but that goes away after a few days so just keep it moisturized you're good to go I'm gonna throw up a collage of my progression of my birthmarks so yeah just uh, if you have any questions like I said just ask away I hope this is helpful I just really want to be thorough with everything. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, I don't know if I'll talk again at the end of the video, but here's my progression so far.